Before chemistry was a science, there was alchemy. One of the big goals of alchemists in the Middle Ages was to discover the Philosopher's Stone, which was said to be able to convert base metals like lead to precious metals like silver and gold. Alchemists tried all sort of ridiculous experiments in order to find it. Sadly, the Philosopher's Stone wasn't found for hundreds of years and the idea of a magical artifact that would transform lead into gold was dropped eventually. But this wasn't the end of the story. Modern scientists actually discovered two Philosopher's Stones in the 1930s. Less poetically, we call them particle accelerators and breeder reactors nowadays. And instead of lead, mercury is often used as a suitable starting element. Mercury 196 can capture a moderated slow neutron produced in a nuclear reactor, which yields mercury 197. This mercury isotope is unstable and decays to gold 197 by an electron capture process. Since mercury 196 with 0.15% is the least common mercury isotope, it seems natural to search for a procedure to convert the other mercury isotopes to gold too. At this point, the particle accelerator comes into play. Particle accelerators can produce high energy neutrons, which allow it to eject neutrons from the nuclei of higher isotopes of mercury to produce mercury 197. Nuclear physicists have shown many more routes to produce gold, but what they all have in common are the enormous production costs relative to the value of the produced gold. To give an example, in 1980, one billionth of a cent's worth of gold was produced by use of a particle accelerator in Berkeley, at a cost of $10,000.